stop making these three big mistakes with your driver and start hitting more fairways and getting a little bit more distance. Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and it allows you to not miss another one of my videos. So today we're going to talk all things driver, super fun club to hit in our bag, but can be a little bit of a nuisance if it starts going all over the place. And I'm going to go over the three biggest mistakes that I see with the driver to hopefully help you narrow up your dispersion and hit some more fairways. The first mistake that I see has to do with your alignment and believe it or not, it's super important. So I have a stick on the ground here pointed towards my target out at the range and I'm going to take a setup position with a driver and I'm going to see if you can identify one of the big mistakes. So what I see a lot of people do is they set up their feet pointed towards the target and they're set up here and everything looks fine and dandy. You know, you're set up to your ball, you're ready to go looking at your target, but stop. There's one thing that's really, really messed up with this setup position. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna set up exactly like I did prior. Everything looks pretty good. Feet are pointed along the line, club is pointed down the line, but a really important thing that people miss is the shoulders. Now take a look at this setup position. I'm set up perfectly square with everything, but look how far left my shoulders are pointed. Wherever your shoulders are pointed is gonna drive the club path and direct the ball, not where you want it to go, in off, on the golf course, right? So if our shoulders are pointed open, I'll show you exactly what happens. We're pointed open like this, everything else is square, everything else looks great, but shoulders are pointed left. What that's going to do is on our way down, since our shoulders are pointed left, everything now starts coming left. Club path starts coming over the top, outside to in. What that's going to do, a lot of people come in with a open club face with this and that's where you get that nasty slice. You're coming over the top like this with an open club face, that ball is going to shoot out to the right pretty much every single time because the path and the face angle send the ball where it's going to go. So every single time you set up to the golf ball with your driver and all of your clubs even, you have to check your shoulders. So I was set up like this prior, everything else looks good, shoulders are left. For people who have open shoulders, it's going to feel like you're closing them. Here now, you can see both sticks are aligned to one another. I highly recommend using two golf clubs or stick to be able to see this and take a video behind you because it, you're not gonna really be able to see it unless you get a video of it. It just really helps you visualize and, and ensures that you're doing the right thing. For me, I do tend to open my shoulders. So this actually feels like my shoulders are pointed into those bushes over there, but in actuality, they're straight. So I'm really forcing it square to my foot line. A way to see this when you're set up to the ball, when you don't have a stick, is try to look at your left and right shoulder and see them go parallel to your foot line. So now I'll go slow motion with a square shoulder path. Even with a slightly open face, the ball might tail a little bit to the right, but it's not gonna shoot right automatically. Shoulder alignment is super important and a highly underlooked part of the driver setup. So we're gonna stay along with the idea of setting up and believe it or not, most of the mistakes that people encounter with the driver is even before they swing. This has to do with setup and also your swing. So now that we have our shoulders nice and square, that's gonna stay the same. Obviously with a driver, it's not like an iron. We're teeing the ball up, we're hitting it off a tee, hitting it up. I see too many people set up, dropping their shoulder like this, doing everything in their power to lift that ball up in the air, even to the extent where you're coming through the ball, leaning back, really trying to get that ball up in the air. What that's gonna do, again, leaning back with an open face, that ball's going right, you're gonna slice it 10 times out of 10. So in order to get in a good driver's setup here, nice wide stance ball is inside your front foot here. Shoulders are square. Now I want you to take your back hand and put it all along your leg like this. The only thing we're gonna do is since we wanna hit up, we're gonna position our body in a way that's gonna allow us to do that. We're gonna set up here, back arm along your leg, and I just want you to slide down until your fingertips are reaching the middle of your knee. Look how minute this changes. Here, here, that is it. Now you're gonna grab the club, maintain this position through your swing. A lot of people start in this position, which is great, but get to the top here and lean even further back. 
that is not going to do it. You have to stay in this position, maintain this angle, right? Back through. No more leaning back than you already are. You're setting up your swing for success and maintaining that posture, those angles through the whole thing. The third thing that I see people do that absolutely ruins their round, they start missing fairways, they're getting frustrated, is tempo. Believe it or not, I personally believe, and a lot of other coaches believe that tempo is the most important part of the golf swing. They get the driver, they see a nice big head, long club, whippy, they get up there, get all excited, just absolutely swing out of their shoes, right? And they're wondering, why is the ball not finding the fairway? Well, you're not having a smooth tempo. You look at the pros, every single person has pretty much the same tempo with every single one of their clubs, believe it or not. You look at irons, it's nice and smooth. You look at driver, nice and smooth. It doesn't even look like they're swinging hard, yet they're putting up these huge ball speed numbers, club speed numbers, like they're not even trying. So let's talk about how to develop a nice smooth tempo. This may seem a little silly to some of you, but it actually really helps. I want you to pick a two syllable word. For me, I'm gonna use ice cream, right? Everyone enjoys it, it's great. I want you to say this word in your head as you're taking your swing. The first syllable or the first word in the phrase is to the top. So one, and then when you come down, two. Okay, nice and smooth. Let's do it again. One, two. And it's going to feel like you're barely swinging the club. And you're like, how am I supposed to generate power with this? I'm not swinging hard. Well, believe it or not, our bodies are going to help us generate power without swinging that hard. That's because we're gonna learn how to use our lower body in the swing. We have a nice smooth tempo, ice, cream. You could use any two word phrase. I'm just gonna stick with that. Ice, cream. Nice and smooth. And if you finish your swing before you're done saying the word, you know you're swinging too hard and too fast. A lot of people get to the top here and before they even get to the top, they bring it right down. By saying these two words, like almost like a metronome, one, two, one, two. You look at the pros, they got a nice easy cadence, okay? That's what I want you to think. One, two, one, two. If you wanna add a little bit more power, don't swing any harder, just as you're coming down, use our weight transfer, push off off the ground. Watch how that club comes on through. But still, maintaining a nice smooth tempo is going to help you out immensely with the driver and all your clubs in your bag. So you're getting up here, right? I'll say my two syllable word, don't make fun of me. Ice cream, nice and smooth. And try to hit some 60, 70% drivers to start. Work up to full speed. And full speed should still feel like you're barely swinging. And that ball will probably go a lot further because you're making better contact. Better contact is way more important and swing speed because the better contact you have, the faster that ball is going to fly and the straighter it's going to fly. It's going to help you out a lot. I really hope you found these three driver tips helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and it allows you not to miss another one of my videos. Stay tuned for more instructional stuff coming your way and I'll see you guys out here next time.